Welcome to the Arts and Medicine Studio. My name's Lizzie. I'm here with Nitza. Hi, Nitza. Hey, Lizzie. So nice to see you again. Nitza, I heard that you had a really exciting day yesterday. It was amazing. I got to go to New York City and walk across town from 8th Avenue to near the United Nations to meet a very special friends of mine named Noah, who created an installation outdoors that you can touch. And it was a sculpture of an animal titled the Peace Gorilla. And I was so interested in touching sculptures because working at the museum, you know, you're not allowed to touch anything. So I went to visit my friend Noah and it was incredible. We met people, we looked around the sculpture and then I saw it that the base of the sculpture is full of words. And it reminded me, it reminded me of our beautiful studio and how many times we use words. We use words when we paint, we use words when we write our name, but we also collectively find people from many, many countries and write words in different languages. So we remember the one with I have a dream, wasn't that great? Look at that. And the winter that we had all these languages called winter. So I thought I'll call Noah to come and join us and see maybe she can help us understand what brought her to think of words in such a heavy bronze sculpture. And why gorilla? What's about peace? Hello, Noah. Hi, Nitsa and Lizzie. Thank you for inviting me. We're so happy that you're here because You've never been to the studio and we connected right away, not only because we make animal sculptures, which is great, but because you used words. Would you please tell us about the words on your statue? Yes, the word I use for the sculpture on the base of the gorilla is friend. Even though it's a peace gorilla, I believe friend happened because Nitsa, remember when I was telling you as I was making the sculpture, not first in bronze, of course, in the, that fiber over wire mesh and burlap with plaster and the arm kept extending as if greeting me. How about you guys try to do that, extend your arm forward to as if greet someone and of course that's also like a high five but the gesture to me it was a reaching out to a friend and if you have friendship you'll have peace yes i mean it seems to me the friend is about what one person does with another person and with everybody doing that then we can have peace so it seemed to me the gorilla was saying these, these great words. Also, the high five, the friend, and shalom, salam, tomodachi. Hello, peace, friend. Tomodachi, maybe some of you know, is friend in Japanese. I have a lot of Japanese friends here. We have friends in the studio from Japan. Oh, good. Wonderful. Would you pronounce some of those words? Maybe you'd like to pronounce them after me? Sure. Sure, I'll try. Okay. All right. Guys, do it with us. Okay, so amiga. 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 Amigo. Amigo. And then French would be ami. 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 Russian is fun. Drug. 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 And podruga. Podruga. Good. Excellent. 
Thank you so much. This is so cool. I wonder, maybe we should have a little game, you guys, if you are home or wherever you are. Think about a word that means a lot to you. I'm going to ask Lizzie and Noah to think about the same. We will think about it, share our words, and maybe you will share the word with us too. So how about we think? And then we extend our arm. High five. Did, did the word come to you? I thought of something. Um, I, I, for some reason, sunshine. Lizzie, how about you? I was thinking sparkle, actually. I was thinking about ocean. Mm, oh my gosh. Those three words go together. Sunshine on ocean sparkles. Wow. I love it. And you guys out there, please send me your word. Maybe we'll have Noah put it together to a poem or a sentence. It's going to be a poem, I think. And send it to me to aimnita at gmail.com. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, Noah. Bye-bye. Thank you, Nitsa. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you so much.